I was reading an article from some online magazine. I forget what it was. I think it was a, like a local Milwaukee one. And they were they had a feature on a new bar that it opened up called Bass Rites. And it's like a, a punk rock themed kind of bar. And um looks pretty cool. The aesthetic is great. Um, it just has a, a beyond dive bar kind of outside look to it. It's pretty awesome. I guess it's a small capacity place. Like I think it says it seats 10, but um, I'm sure the, uh, you could fit more people in there. Um, I think there's a stage in there too. I just quickly looked over the pictures just to get an idea. And um, yeah, it looks really cool. It's a, it's a place that, you know, I'd like to have in my town, or a lot of people would like to have in their town. I mean, I don't really drink, but uh, it's a be a cool place to hang out or to see bands if they indeed do have bands. I think they might. But looking at the uh, the decor and the affirma there, uh, it highlights a lot of the problems with current gay punk rock ideology, I guess, if you will. Um, the owners, uh, who seem like good people, I'm sure they are. I'm just going off the fact that uh, if they're into punk rock, then there's some things about the, uh, I guess, again, you'd call it ideology of punk rock, that are, are wonderful. I mean, aside from the fact the tree itself, which uh, the original tree that was grown is pretty rotten, it was made under bad pretenses I mean it was it's literally a, a intelligence agency operation but from that came a lot of cool stuff and um, the DIY aesthetic and DIY and in particular and I know a lot of people that are more musician-y people or you know like uh, what they would consider the competent <laughs> musicians uh, get down on the fact that it made anybody think they could get up on stage and play. I like that. I think that's that's a great thing. Um, and the freedom that was supposed to originally be associated with it, which really wasn't, um, is also a cool thing. There's cool things about it. And sometimes you can tell a lot about people uh, through the music they listen to. More so punk rock than a lot of other things. Because it is very heavily uh, involved with an ideology. But you look at some of the um, signs they have in there and stuff they have in there, and it's like, oh boy, you know? And it reminds me of like when, you know, in the UK scene in the 70s, when they used the swastika ubiquitously. I mean, that thing was everywhere. Sid Vicious, that was his like. Uh, uniform that shirt he was either like shirtless leather jacket or he had uh, uh, a swastika shirt on it, and the cartoon like if you watch the um, Great Walk and Roll Swindle Sex Pistols movie it's, it's not that good but they have a cartoon version of him in it too where I mean it's drawn right on him and you might think like well wasn't Malcolm McLaurin like a Jewish guy why would he do that well, uh, I would say sit down and let me explain some stuff to you. But we're not going to do that. I could, though, because I happen to know a lot about it. It seems strange, but at any rate, in current year, whatever you think about the symbol, it's pretty contentious, and it wasn't a great idea to tie it so prominently to that movement. I mean, it's for whatever reason. I mean, you can argue the the origins of the symbol and yes I understand they took it and subverted it that's what these people do what are you going to do but it, it it's contentious you know so it takes away from like the good things it puts the focus on nonsense and there's a lot of that now in the current sort of punk world like it's always been like growing up or you know over the past 
however many years it's been around, that one of the main tenets is the anti-establishment, anti-government, specifically anti the man or whatever it is. They've t they've done a, a complete uh, switcheroo. That's a scientific term, switcheroo. But now they are uh, very supportive of the government. They're very supportive of corporate interests, uh, and they're in the pocket of the man. They support the man to a point where it's like some days I think I'm gonna wake up and see Jello B. Opera on Capitol Hill advocating for uh, Walmart having its own army. You know, do you know what I mean? Like, Walmart has been selling goods and services to people for many years. And we're having trouble policing people who want to come in and not wear two masks. When this needs to be met with deadly force, like Henry Rollins, you know, advocating for the Taco Bell army. Taco Bell has been serving hot and delicious food to people for many years. All that goodwill is about to fall apart by the maskless miscreants that hang around our parking lot. There's only one thing we can do about it. Like, you just, I wouldn't be surprised to see that kind of stuff. I mean, it turns out, yeah, all these guys were uh, in bed with the corporations. I mean, of course they were. Like, you don't, you don't get money from the beast and then get to rail against, rage against the beast. You can't do that. I mean, that's so phony. That was always a problem. I mean, that was always a hypocritical situation there. I mean, it's the, the rage against the machine thing. It's like, we're going to rage against the machine, but also uh, cash the machine's checks. It's just, uh, I mean, once you attain a certain level in entertainment industry, no matter what it is, you, you're going to have to uh, toe the line. You know, unless you want to be like destroyed, you know what I mean. So um, that kind of thing doesn't surprise me. It's just, but it, it doesn't feel good to see the flip that whole um, culture has done. And it used to be an outsider sort of culture, and now it's you couldn't be more inside. <clears throat> couldn't be more inside. Um, and I guess it, you know. It had to go that way, but it's just so it's just so bizarre because you know you spend your whole life, um, probably wrongly, uh, thinking about something as uh, promoting freedom and doing your own thing and not taking shit from the man, and, and then like you become the man. It's like it's the fucking Batman meme, whatever. It's just. I understand it. <clears throat> I understand it better than most. But it still bums me out. And the, uh, the owners there, it's a, a, a guy and a girl, they look about my age probably, from my generation. And, and they have their masks on in the, uh, the picture. And then it shows them behind the bar with their masks on. It, it begs the question, it's like, well, do you have to wear masks in there? Because, or are they just wearing it because they're servers? But if that's the case, then if you're going to do a promotional photo for this feature, why don't you just take them off just for the picture? Because it's not about health. It's about virtue signaling, showing that your allegiance is to the Walmart army. And, uh, and that's just it. And, it, and it's sad. It sucks. And I'm sure, I don't think they're bad people. I'm sure they're good people. I think, I don't want to say they're misguided because that implies that you know, they're brainless. I don't, I don't think that's the case, but this is a real heavy duty sort of psyop that's been propagated on the people. Um, it's a mix of spellcraft, uh, MK Ultra type mind control. It's the whole fucking shebang, you know? And people are just, it's hard to reach people like that. So I, while they might not be trying to be malicious uh, or, or, you know, it, it just, it's sad. It just, it bums me out. Like, just for that one shot, right? Don't you want to show, like, a, your faces or something? But they, they, you know, it's too bad. It's too bad that it's like that. Now, punk rock as a uh, idea and a concept and uh, a musical force or whatever, an ideology in, in some cases, 
uh, would never, ever, uh, in any other world or circumstance, put the diaper on the face. Even if health was an issue, which it isn't, it's, it's the only kind of uh, music or movement or ideology that could say, no, fuck you, I don't care. I'll kill everyone, <laughs> you know? That's what it is. That, that's the only kind of thing that would stand for that. So to see them, like, just... Not them in particular, but the whole movement just get on its knees for Amazon. This is so fucking disheartening, dispiriting. It's like, I know it was all bullshit from the beginning, but it was bullshit that seemed to mean something. And now it's just, they, they're the, in the man's pocket. And it's absolutely virtue signaling. It's not about health, you know? It's about your team, you know, supporting your team, whatever your team happens to be. And mainly, it's not about that the people on the on Team Blue, which first of all, if you're on a team, and I, I had a guy recently in my comment section saying, I'm a liberal and I'm unsubscribing from you. It's like, good, maybe we'll get the conservatives out of here too. Anyone that self-identifies with a political party, you know, uh, geez, I can't really have a conversation with someone like that. It's like, you're obviously asleep and you haven't, you're under a spell you're under mind control. Uh, you might want to think about your shit. Or don't. You know, God love you. God love you. Carry on. Um, both sides of that thing. It's absolutely retarded. And it doesn't mean anything. It's just a way to keep people divided and fighting. Absolutely. You know? The, like, the, I don't know. I don't want to turn it into that. But I'm just like... Uh, just it's sad to see what the whole punk what the dream of punk rock which was flawed to begin with I guess and was never meant to be anything but something to sell t-shirts but it you know for a while there it became something and, and it still it still means a certain thing to some people you know um, it was a very short period of time I mean I would say it was like a, a fucking lightning bolt hitting like the summer of like 76. Boom. And that was it. And everything else is existed in the wake of it. But um, for a thing that was supposed to be very freedom orientated, you can't get more draconian. <laughs> you can't get more draconian than punk rock these days. And the gatekeeping with whether someone is or is not punk, it's just, it's a nightmare, you know? It was a beautiful dream, and it's turned into a nightmare. Yes, yeah, so this place looks cool, right? And the, and they make a point to say we, you know, accept everything, everyone, as you know, punk rock should uh, embody the acceptance of everybody. But uh, I tell you what, <laughs> I don't. I'm not even saying if you were to go in there with like a, a MAGA hat or something. If you were to go in there with uh, an, an American flag shirt or something like that. I don't know if you'd be welcome there. They say they welcome everybody, but they don't. They don't. They welcome everyone as long as you're on their team. And, uh, yeah, I wish people would get out of this team mentality. It's a horizontal thing. You can't gain power or truth or anything from horizontal movement. It's all vertical. It travels upward. Um, so, of course, they want to keep you on uh, the third floor horizontally fighting against the, uh, the Trump people. And that Trump, man, that was a fucking spell. Big time. And we're still seeing it now uh, manifesting people. Like, I think I mentioned uh, the other day. I could have actually mentioned in this video. My Alzheimer's is pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> but um, when people get upset with me for not wearing a mask on my nose. It's not because they care about health or they uh, know me personally or anything. It's because when they see someone not complying, what they see is what the media uh, told them. They see a ist and a phobe and probably a white supremacist and a Trump supporter. They, see, they project all the shit onto you. And, um, and then they go crazy in the elevator. 
which is what happens to me sometimes. Yeah. Uh, with like I always say, like a Twitter dude, warrior that's never been in a fist fight, uh, you know, wants to talk to me like I'm his son. It's like, dude, I'll let this go for a while, but <laughs> there's a point, you know, there's a point. But um, yeah, they wouldn't, they wouldn't accept everybody. That's a lie. It's an absolute lie. And like the um, the use of in the seventies, the use of the swastika, which was misguided for that whole thing. I would say look into the look into some of these things, some of these um, intelligence agency creative movements that you're shilling for. Well, not shilling, but just having a sign in your window. Eh, I don't know. It wouldn't bother me. It wouldn't stop me from going in. I doesn't. That kind of stuff doesn't bother me. I, I just, I accept people are on different levels of the journey. But I mean, would it take that much time? In the time it would take to listen to the first Agent Orange album, you could get a, a, a working knowledge of the disingenuous nature of that particular movement. And it's not a movement made by who you think it was. It's not run by who you think it is. Its purpose and aims aren't to do what you you think it's supposed to do and it just shows like it makes me think pe that they're ignorant like how do you dude really how do you not know this it's probably the way people looked might have looked at the swastika in the 70s like really guys you don't know this shit yet but the other side of it just like the face diaper thing is they do know but again it's just a virtue signal to show we're in with the team no matter how nonsensical and disingenuous it is, we're down with Mr. Poopy Pants. And if you're not down with us, then you like orange men. It's fucking retarded. I don't, you know, I don't wear the mask over my nose sometimes because I can't fucking breathe. I've had a deviated septum, choked to death in the fucking elevator trying to fucking wear this dumb thing. I try to keep it on around old people because you can't make them understand. They're fucked. So, I mean, you know. They're not. They're fine, nice, and everything. But as far as knowing what the fuck is going on, no. They they were part of probably the biggest uh, hypnosis generation. There's never you're just not reaching them, you know. You can try, but you're not going to. So if that's why I don't have it sometimes over my nose. It's not because I fucking support Trump. I fucking hate Trump. He's a Jesuit satanic fucking black cube worshiper whose job it was was to make everyone that would oppose the people he worked for stick their neck out so they could figure out who these people are so when they enter the next phase of the plan they could get these people and scoop them up that was it that was his job but he was a fucking spell you know the whole thing was a spell and people are still under the effects of it you know, it's so crazy to think, like, because I'm, I, of how I wear my mask, it, it's a dog whistle about Trump support. Like, Trump support how? How do you support him? You send him money? Like, what? I don't even know what they're talking about. It doesn't make sense, and there's no logic to it, because it's not logical, because it, it's fucking magic. It's magic. It's a magic spell. I don't. I mean, I know it sounds silly, but that's what they use. It's, you know, we've been trained to think it's silly, or I think it's the world of fantasy, but it's not. It's magic combined with uh, mind control tactics, which they've been working on for many, 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 many years. And, and not just like MK Ultra specifically, there's a, there's a boatload of stuff, of ways they control you through the frequencies. You know, you only, you only, in this body, you only have a certain band that you can generally get to. And, and that's what this whole ascension are trying to raise your vibration, you're trying to get higher is about it's about trying to transcend the small band of frequencies that you can see or, or experience to get a better understanding you get out of it so that they can no longer affect you and most of us that are like talk about this kind of stuff are already already there like the tricks are never going to work on us because we've seen them you know when you see the the fucking assistant bring the rabbit to the magician put under his coat when he pulls that out of the hat it's not, it doesn't work on you and it's never gonna work on you 
So, yeah, I gotta, I gotta go in. <laughs> I could spend, I'd spend another hour here going on about that shit. Don't blame the teacher. Blame the school.